Yo, what's going on guys, it's New7. In this video today, we're going to be going through how you can improve your aim on Fortnite console. I've got a load of different exercises in this video today and a load of strategies which you should try, which are going to allow you to become a much better player in terms of when it comes to close range shotgun fights, long range assault, assault rifle fights and close range assault rifle fights as well. So. Be sure to stay till the end of the video, remember to leave a like down below, drop a comment down below and remember to subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoy this video guys. So the first thing we're going to be going through in this video today is after every shotgun shot, building a floor. Now just to quickly show you what that's like. So now why is this useful? So if someone was below you, instead of just jumping down, shooting them and then it be just a, a gamble whoever hits the next shotgun shot. By doing this strategy, you'll see people like TQ doing this a lot. But by doing this, you're gonna maximize the amount of damage you're gonna do as well as minimizing the amount of damage you're gonna do. So you could always, you know, edge out to the side. If the player's moved out to the side, take another shot. So all you gotta to do to practice this until it is just run in a, in a straight motion. Shoot, floor, shoot, floor. Shoot floor, shoot floor. Very easy to do guys and very effective. So guys, the next tip I'm gonna be showing you today is after every shotgun shot, you wanna build a wall. So the reason why this is effective is it's just like building the floor when you have high ground. It just minimizes the amount of damage that you're going to take after your shotgun shot and you're not gambling. So just get into the practice, get into the habit, sorry, of shooting, build a wall. Shooting, build a wall. This is very effective and you can also mix it up sometimes as well. So instead of just building the wall, you'd shoot, build a wall and a ramp and take a shot afterwards. This means you're minimizing the amount of damage you're going to take and it's a very effective strategy to win in a lot more of your shotgun fights. So this next tip we're gonna be going through is very useful and it just helps improve your long range accuracy. So in Tilted Towers, you've got some of these like street lamps. So all you wanna do is just get your one shot accuracy lined up and then just practice, it, practice hitting the top of these street lamps. So now you can be very accurate and consistent long range if you can hit headshots. So if you can hit these headlights, street lamps, then it just means if you imagine these are people's heads, then you're gonna have a much better aim, especially long range and hitting those headshots because it's very useful. If someone's just sitting still, if you can finish that kill off as quick as possible, two headshots is something ridiculous, like over 120 damage or something like that, then you're gonna make it very easy for you to become more successful hitting long range shots and weakening your opponents up, meaning that close range engagements are gonna be much easier. So guys, this next tip is very simple. What you wanna do is just edit a window through a wall, right? And you just wanna practice jumping and holding your cursor in the middle of the window. And just try not to hit the edge of the uh, of the wall. And you then just wanna practice shooting, keeping your aim in the middle, trying not, your best not to hit the wall. So this is a very useful exercise for you to do. And the more you do this, the, the better your tracking will get, especially close range. That's a very useful exercise to practice guys. Very simple, but very useful. So this next tip we're gonna be going through guys is very useful, very simple, but very useful. And you may not have thought this is very useful, but I'm gonna be showing you now why it is. So what you wanna do is practice hitting the blue circles every time when you're knocking down structures. So like here, for example, practice flicking between the blue circles and try and hit them every single time. And what this does is it forces you to, it trains up the muscle memory, sorry, to know where to flick your thumbstick for certain parts of the structure. So in terms of shotgun fights, this is going to be useful because it's gonna train you if there's an enemy. So if you imagine the enemies are the blue circles, then it's gonna train you on where to flick your aim on each of those occasions, so. So if you give that a try, I promise you this is going to be very useful for you. So the final tip I'm going to be getting into today is just another tracking exercise and this is very useful for improving your assault rifle and shotgun aim very close range. So all you're going to want to do is kind of box yourself in, edit a bunch of windows through a bunch of walls in this kind of way and then you just want to practice flicking your aim between the different windows 
trying your best not to hit the actual walls and just try and shoot through the windows. The more you do this, the better you'll get at it. But it's a very useful exercise. And I've practiced this quite a few times. And it has helped my aim for sure. So as you can see, it's very useful. Maybe difficult at first for you guys, but give it a bit of time, you get very good at this, and you'll be able to do it as quick as you possibly can. So guys, that is the end of the video today. I hope you've learned something new, and I hope that you now improve your shotgun aim and your assault rifle aim, not only close range, but also long range. So remember to leave a like down below, guys. Comment which technique you're going to use which is going to be the most useful for you and remember to subscribe to the channel thank you all for watching